What's up guys, welcome back to All Wings Everything. I am your cook Spinelli. I am the self-proclaimed wing king and the prince, the ruler of all lemon pepper wings. And I'm not here to argue with you about that. Just click that link above me and that will sell everything. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make buffalo chicken sliders. They are delicious. If you've never had these before, add them to your menu. So, I hope you're in your kitchen. I'm already in mine, so let's go. Alright, so here are the ingredients we're going to use for the recipe today. So let me show you guys what we have. What I have here, I have some buffalo ranch um, dressing. Um, you can get the regular buffalo ranch. You know what I when I went to the store, they I was looking for the uh, I think what is Clover Valley, but the the regular brand of buffalo ranch, and I ended up they didn't have any of that. You know the stores are all sold out of everything. And the only thing I saw was this buffalo ranch. Not paying attention, this is the one with no sugar and no dairy. So, hey, we're still gonna use it. Um, you can either use that or regular buffalo ranch, or you can use regular ranch dressing. And also, here, what we got here, we have Italian seasoning. I have some Hawaiian rolls, butter, garlic salt. I'm gonna use some um, shredded cheddar cheese. Texas um, wing sauce. Now you want the wing sauce, not the um, Texas hot sauce or the Frank's hot sauce. You either you want to use the Texas Pete wing sauce or the uh, Frank's wing sauce. I'm using extra mild. I know guys, I'm not going to use hot um, this time. I'm going to use some mild sauce. M one of the reasons is because this is what I had in my um, in my cabinet. So I didn't really want to buy anything else. want to go ahead and use it up. And I've already have some pre-cooked, uh, well, not pre-cooked, but I already cooked them. These are um, chicken breasts that we're going to use for the slider. So let's go ahead and get these things measured out and move on. All right, so what we have here, I've already measured out everything that we're going to use. So we have, our, we have two cups of uh, shredded cheese. We have uh, a half a cup of buffalo ranch dressing half a cup of uh, buffalo sauce, uh, a teaspoon of garlic salt, teaspoon of Italian seasoning, and a fourth of a cup of melted butter. And what I have here is three cups of uh, chopped chicken. Now you can use, uh, you can chop your chicken or you can use um, the rotisserie chicken from like your local uh, supermarket like a Publix or Winn-Dixie, Kroger, whatever you have in your area. Uh, you could use that uh, that rotisserie chicken too, but what I did was I just I, uh, pan fried my chicken on the on the, on the stove top, and then what I did was I just chopped it up, and I made sure I seasoned it the way I wanted it to be uh, seasoned. So um, you can you can use this method. So all right, now that we have all our measurements, so let's go on and move to the next step. All right, so what we're gonna do now? I'm just gonna put my chicken into my bowl. Next, I'm going to add my cheese. Next, our buffalo sauce. And now our ranch dressing. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just give this a good mix. Wanna make sure you combine these, these ingredients as much as you can. See how the the texture of it is. Take a look at it. This is how you want it to look. All right, let's move on. All right, so let's go ahead and prepare our uh, butter garlic sauce. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add our butter, our garlic salt, and our Italian seasoning. And we're just going to give this a quick stir just to combine everything. All right, and we're going to sit this aside until we get our um, our sliders prepared. All right, let's move on. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to prepare our sliders. So I have here about, this looks like about 12. And what we're going to do is we're just going to stick this here in the pan like that. All right, guys, so what I did was 
um, I just cut through the I cut sideways through the um, the sliders so this is what we have right here so I'm just going to remove the top part and going to push this together a little bit like that and now what we're going to do is start adding our buffalo mixture chicken mixture guys this is oh man this looks great mouth is already watering already and you can put as much or as little as you want depends on how juicy you want your your sliders or how thick you know you can put a thin layer but i'm going to put you know sort of a thick layer on mine one reason i wanted to be for uh filling let's get a little bit more of that on there all right i think that's enough so what i'm gonna do now is i'm going to place my buns back here on the top like that we're going to add our garlic mixture garlic butter mixture to the top take a look at that look at that look at that guys this looks good and i love garlic butter make sure we get into those cracks down there i want it to seep all the way down i'm gonna do the sides too guys all right so the last thing we're going to do is we're going to cover it with some aluminum foil and we're going to allow it to cook for 15 minutes i preheated the oven to 350 degrees so it's already ready for me to put it inside we're going to cook it again for 15 minutes and then after those 15 minutes we're going to remove the foil and then we're going to cook it for an additional five to seven minutes all right so let's go ahead and stick this in the oven all right so now what we're going to do we've been in here for 15 minutes so what we're going to do now is remove the um the foil and we're going to stick it back in here for five more minutes or until the top of it is brown so let's go ahead and do that and i'll be right back and that's it folks here is the finished product. We just pulled them out of the oven. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and get them plated up so you can see how they look. Now, let me do something real quick so you guys can see that the, can you hear that? The top of the roll is hard, that's what you want. Uh, that's why you put it back in there for the additional five minutes to make sure that you can get that, that hard top. So. Let's get these things plated up and I'll be right back. And there you have it guys. Buffalo cheesy sliders. Let me know what you think about this. All right guys, so I do have the ingredients and the measurements all in the video description below. If you don't have any of these items and you don't want to get out of your house, you can also go to those links order these items from Amazon, they'll be shipped directly to you. Guys, this is an easy, quick, and simple recipe. It doesn't take long to prepare, it doesn't take long to cook, and guess what? Very filling for you guys. All right, so let me take, I'm gonna take a bite of this just so I can let you guys see. Take a look at this right here. Look at that. Mm. Mm. Mm good good all right guys so if you're new to the channel go ahead hit that uh, subscribe button everybody go ahead and like this video and if you haven't uh, went to check out the all wings everything merch I ask you to do so check it out if you see something you like go ahead and grab it and until then this is your cook Spinelli all wings everything and I am out peace